Okay, in this video, I want to talk about how we meter out on retraction only on a, when we're worried about the speed of a double acting cylinder. So let's take a look at the schematic here. So right now, when I go to extend this cylinder, when I put it into this position here, oil will flow up, it will bypass the needle valve flowing through the check valve up to the cylinder. All the oil on the piston rod side will exit right down through here back down to tank. That is when I'm in my position of my directional control valve that is meant to extend the cylinder. When I go to retract the cylinder, oil will flow up through here, free flow into here, and all the oil on the blind side of the cylinder will come out through here, it will not be able to go through the bypass check valve, and we will meter that oil through the needle valve, okay, as it exits the cylinder on retraction. So this is what we call a meter out circuit on retraction only. Let's take a look at how it works. So I'm gonna activate the lever to extend the cylinder. Oil free, free flows through the uh, check valve at about 30 gallons per minute, if you saw that. All right, now I will retract the cylinder. All the oil on the blind side of the cylinder is being forced to go through the needle valve because the check valve will not allow it to bypass. And I have it set to about three and a half gallons of oil flowing through here, okay? So what that does is that will slow down the cylinder during retraction. Let's watch it one more time. I'll activate the cylinder. It will go out fast, going at about 30 gallons per minute. Then, when I go to retract the cylinder, it will force through here. All of the oil here has to get forced through the needle valve, so it meters the oil as it exits the cylinder or as it goes out of the cylinder. That's why it's called a meter out circuit. Let's take a look at the circuit and try to understand what's happening here and give you some hints and tricks. So we know it's a meter out circuit because the arrow of the check valve is pointing away from the cylinder. Okay, that's just a visual trick you can use real quick to identify that this is a meter out circuit. Then the next question is, is it going to meter the cylinder as it's extending or it's retracting? Well, this output that it is tied to is an output when it's retracting. When it's extending, this port A here is an input, not an output. So that's how you have to establish this. Here's your output. When this goes to retract, all the oil comes out of here. This port is an output. So that's why it's metered out on retraction only. Okay, so I hope this video showed you uh, a little bit about how meter out on retraction works. In the description, I have a link to a video where I give a lecture and a lab demonstration on all the different ways you can monitor a double acting cylinder. Okay, and this is just one of six videos that I've created uh, to show you all the different ways that you can control the speed of a double acting cylinder. So I hope this video uh, helped, and if it did, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. Thank you very much for watching.